Welcome back to Him Tight Homestead. We got the three little wieners in this fern pasture here, left over from Coco's litter. They're going to become our first homegrown meters. Now you met Mike and Mike before. They're our meat pigs. are about two years old now, and not quite where we want them to be yet. They got a little bit longer to go. But these three will be the very first Cooney Coonies to come from Him Tight Homestead for meat purpose. <coughs> So we're going to get these guys moved out of the fairing pasture and we can't put them with the large cooney coonies yet. We're going to make some modifications and make them a little get to know you area where they can pasture next door to the big ones and uh, get to know them and then we'll eventually move them in. Always something to do here and we to get started. We're going to Take the old breeding pen we made up here and put it along the sow pasture and kind of create a meet you pen where they can get to know each other through the fence and uh, give them a little bit of green grass to munch on. And take this house out of here and put it over here too. We got all the fence moved over here. You remember we built this fence out of pallets. It's just freestanding. We screwed them all together. Uh, we brought the house over here. And we're going to set up a little area here for the wieners to live next door to the sows. Gilts. Just trying to lay this out temporarily, see what it's going to look like right now. We got two fence panels coming up from the sow pasture and we'll go as far as going that way as we can. We'll take this house and screw it on the outside. We'll screw the panels to it so that we don't lose space on the inside for house. Well, we're not going to put a gate or nothing on it. We can step right over top of it.
All right, here's what we came up with. We will zip tie this to the fence as we like to do around here and screw all these fence panels together. We'll make them pretty secure. And this is where they will stay for a while. We'll like screw these together so they can't knock it off. Short enough we can just step right over top of it. There's the house they're living in and we put it on the back so that we didn't eat up space on the inside. I think that was a really good idea. And this is the window cover. I pulled it off trying to move it. I'll screw that back on there. There's mama. Yeah, there's the mama. What are you doing, Coco? Are you going to see your babies? It's your birthday. You get to see your babies on your birthday. All right, the only thing left to do is to move these little chunkers. We are just about ready. And I was going to carry them over there one at a time, and I decided I think I'm going to try to move them all at one time. I got a 110 gallon water tote here that we use in the winter times uh, to keep from using hoses and a pallet on top of it. Then we're going to get them in the house here and snatch them up and get them in here one at a time. And uh, take them all together. We'll drive a tractor over real slow, and one of us will stay here with this and make sure that they don't pop out of it. I don't think they can get out of it, don't think it's going to be an issue. So everything should be just fine. come see you. Why y'all chomping? Say hey piggies. Beaches, you sound worse than a boar. So why did we go through all this trouble? Pigs in general, and especially cooney coonies, are very social animals. They love the company of other animals and people, and especially other pigs. However, they do have a pecking order, and these little 50-pound wieners right here would stand a chance against these roughly 
250 to 300 pound pigs over here. So rolling around, break their legs, hurt their backs. So this is to get them to know each other. They'll be able to talk and hang out together at the fence line. And uh, a couple weeks we'll join them all together. So better grass than what they got over there in the fern barn. They pretty much worked it all down. Um, grass isn't going to be around much longer. I figure another two weeks tops. Unless we get a warm spell. But it's supposed to get some freezing temperatures next week for multiple days. And I think they'll take care of the grass once and for all. And then we'll start feeding hay and pumpkins and all kinds of other goodies. Mm-hmm.